Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name's Adam and this is this week's Friday Size. So I'd just like to say a big thank you to Jen from Stay and Jen's Sewing Room for setting up this platform for us all to vlog on. Um, if you haven't seen her channel, I will link it down below in one of the channels that I normally mention um, for the people that I watch on a weekly basis. Um, the concept of Friday Sews is to talk about what we've been up to for the week, what we've been sewing, how a bit about life and a bit about what we're planning to sew for the next week. So this week, to start off with, I am wearing the I Am Patterns men's sweatshirt. can't remember off the top of my head what it's called now, and I can't even seem to find what I've done with the pattern. I folded it all up nice and neatly. I put it in a um, plastic bag type thing that I store all my patterns in. I've put it in my pattern box, which is underneath the table of doom, and I can't find it. So I will link down below what the name of the jumper is and what the pattern link is um this pattern is actually just a standard men's sweatshirt pattern i had this miraculous idea that i wanted to do a join of two different french terries um which i did a little while back in some of my very very first friday sews videos i did it with some cotton lycra that i made into a t-shirt because i only had a half meter of the print so i used a contrast fabric to create like a yoke in the top of the t-shirt um this wasn't the case i had plenty of both the blue and the dusty pink cotton um french terry but i wanted a top that sort of faded to it well not faded it had a color block of the top and the bottom so the sleeves and the back both go from blue into the pink and then they've both got the blue mull cuffs on the top and on the bottom and on the neckband as well um so these are french terriers that i got from fabrics by penny community group they are on a special promotion at the moment um and they are the nicest they're 95 percent cotton five percent lycra they have a nice amount of stretch they don't shrink when i've washed them ever um, I wash and tumble dry all of my clothes that I make um, and it's normally a sort of fingers crossed hope it works out well when it first goes through the wash because I don't check, I don't pre-wash most of my fabrics but with these I've never needed to. Um, so the other thing that I've been up to this week is I actually spoke to my husband yesterday on his morning break at work and I said to him is there anything that you want made? Um, and normally he says, no, no, I don't need anything. But today, well, yesterday, he actually turned around and said, uh, well, he actually turned around and agreed that he needed some new T-shirts. So I was, I pulled out some prints that I knew that he would like. And I made, this is the Sinclair, oh, it's not the Teo, the Teo is the Raglan. This is the... Can't remember. I'll have to put that down below as well. I'm useless today. My brain's like a sieve. Um, so I made him this one, which is out of a cotton lycra. This was actually gifted to me from a friend of mine that was doing D-stash. Um, so I have made him the one with the bears. And the one, this one is a poppy organic cotton lycra. And this is, I think it's called New Galaxy, the actual print. Um, but this again is the same Sinclair pattern. Um, this was, I made these after I made my jumper yesterday morning and then I sort of thought to myself, well if he's getting two new t-shirts, I want a new t-shirt. So I also made, I think it's called the Kai t-shirt, it's just come to me, which is K-I, K-A-I I think, but I will definitely link it below anyway. Uh, and then I made myself one from the Dash um, Cotton Lycra, which I've been saving up for ages to make a t-shirt for myself, but... I keep, I just haven't got around to doing it. Um, the other thing that I've been up to this week is I finished this up here, which is another wall hanging. This I English pattern pieced, English, English paper pieced the centre together with the Queen's face, the, the turquoise triangles and the pink and purple diamonds. And then I then machine pieced the purple triangles, the turquoise diamonds and the corners and then I've bound the edge 
put the tags on to hang it up and I made a binding for it. Excuse the crashing around, that is Dobby smashing around one of his yakers. Can you stop it please? Come here, you crazy animal. Um, so the other thing that I've done this week is I was going through all of my scraps of the um, Tudor pink fabric that I've been using for all of my quilts and different things. That's wonky and it's going to bug me. Um, and I suddenly realised I don't really want to throw any of them away because they're so colourful and it's not the most it, it's not it's not the most reasonably priced fabric it is extremely good quality though i will add so i started piecing together all of my scraps and i'm just going to make a frankenstein quilt out of them all i've decided um so every single off cut that i get now as long as it's bigger than sort of about one inch square mm, saying that some of them are smaller than that as long as it's big enough that i can actually get it under the machine and put a quarter inch seam allowance on it and attach it to other pieces, I will add it to my Frankenstein quilt. So the other thing, what else have I made this week? I finished off the other Boston Terrier that I started. I don't know if I'd finished that last week or not, but she's now got some little cool little trainers that I got online, which are pennies from um, China. And she's got a really cute, overalls, a scarf, a t-shirt made out of some double brush poly and a little sweatshirt that was from a French terry remnant that I had. So the other thing that I've been up to this week is I have been collecting remnants of Tudor pink fabrics off of eBay, Marketplace, wherever I can find them really. I've become a little bit addicted to finding remnants and it's kind of like a game now. If I find a remnant and I can get it for less than £10, I have to have it. So last week I managed to get hold of the purple polka dot with the purple and pink matching stripe, which is what I've actually used on that wall hanging. Um, and the other one that I've managed to get hold of this week, so I already had the green stripe, which is part of the same collection. Um, this was sent to me by Soya Quilting, and then this week I managed to track down four of the other polka dots, remnants, which are, that one is the actual contrast to that one, I believe, because um, it's a similar colour back in. And I also managed to track down this one that has got anchors and crosses on it, and this one which has got a really fun design on it. So I'm going to keep all of these to one side at the moment and I'm going to use these as sort of like backing fabrics for the quilt that I showed last week, the, the huge 96 inch square Alice in Wonderland that I will eventually start probably next week. Although I have been asked to make a memory quilt for someone so I will be making that priority. Um, so they will become all of my tiny little sort of like squares and diamonds and um, stars and stuff around the big panels which include the faces of all the different Alice's and whatnot. So besides that I think that's it really for sewing this week. I've kind of got quite a lot done in quite a short space of time but then there was a lot of sort of days when I didn't really get much done at all. But I'm quite happy with what I've got done. I absolutely love this sweatshirt. I'm going to make another one of these for sure. I've already ordered French Terry in two different colours um, to create another one out of a sort of olive colour that I've got. And I think I'm going to do sort of like a cream contrast with that. Um, and then I'm going to use a khaki um, ribbon for it, which is all on order. I'm just waiting for it to be delivered. Um, I think that's it in terms of deliveries this week. I don't think I had much else turn up. I think, oh, I did actually, I did manage to get hold of four new reels of Aurifil thread, which is just the nicest thing ever. So yeah, I think that's it. I think Luna wants to come and say hi before I log out for this week. She's doing much better this week. She's been first week off her medication um, and we've had no seizures, luckily, touch wood, thank God. Um, and I'm hoping that it is the case moving forward. Um, and I'm kind of hoping that it was just a freak occurrence. The vets have been in touch and they're really happy with her progress. Um, so we will just hope that 
it doesn't happen again, don't we? So thanks for watching everyone. Hello and thank you to all of my new subscribers. If you like this video, I will link a tutorial playlist here and I'll also link last week's Friday Sews here in case you would like to see that. So thanks very much for stopping by and I will see you all soon. I'm hoping to try and get some new tutorials out soon. So if there's anything in particular that you would like, pop it in the comments below and I will see if it's something that I can do for you. So I will see you all soon. Goodbye.